What a day. What a finish at Talladega. Ryan Blaney, who wins it, is kind enough to stop by and visit. And I, I just want to start with the end, man. I mean, for those of us that don't drive a couple hundred miles an hour side by side with people going backwards right next to us, how do you put me in, the, in your driver's seat and, and tell me how in the midst of that you find calm? <laughs> Yeah, well, thanks for having me. Um, it's it's hard to find calm, you know. There's so much going on throughout the whole race. You know, there's there's so many things happening, and uh, we're running so close together that the slightest mistake can cause a big wreck. And um, so that's why these super speedway races are are really tricky uh, for us as drivers. Um, and you're just making split second decisions as fast as you can, uh, and sometimes you make the wrong decision, um, and it shows. But you can't hesitate, and that's uh, that's really hard to process when you're going that fast and there's so little time to react and choose what you're going to do. Uh, but that was definitely an exciting finish. Hopefully, everybody <laughs> watching uh, enjoyed it. It was it was lucky that we were on the good end of it. Ryan, did you did you think you'd won? Did you know you'd won? I mean, it's point zero zero seven seconds. I mean, that's like not a sneeze. Like, what did you have any sense at that? Like, I got there first. I didn't know at first. Um, it, you know, when it's that close. Like you said, you just you have no idea, right? You can't tell and. Um, I, I learned about 10 seconds later that we did get it, right and, and that's just uh, relief. So, like you said, I, you know, I've lost him by that much, and we won him by that much, and um, definitely a different range of emotions when you do it, but an uh, exciting one for sure. One of our producers is suggesting the – I don't know if anyone's calling you James Bond today, but that's 007, point zero zero seven. The last two races, <laughs> The last two races at Talladega, you win by that much. I mean, that's astounding. I, I, I mean – Help me make sense of how that happens twice. I, I get that those super speedways, anything can happen, but that's ridiculous, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's honestly, I had no idea until you just said that, that the last two races, yeah, it was uh, 0 .007. And you think about it, you know, we run, you know, hundreds of miles, 500 miles, and the racetrack's over two and a half miles long, and you win by, you know, this much. Right. And that's, uh, that's incredible to me. And that's just, you know, the excitement that comes at these big racetracks and, um, like I said, it was, it was nice that we were able to get it in today. We had some rain, and uh, we had 5,000 fans in the stands, which was good. We're starting to uh, get some people back, so hopefully I had a good time today. So that's how the day ended. How the day started is uh, I'm trying to find the words. Uh, I mean, it, it was an astounding visual of you all walking behind Bubba down pit road, and I felt like the country, people that maybe had never watched NASCAR, watched that and were profoundly moved by what they saw. You were part of it, Ryan. This is your guy. Take me through that scene and, and that moment. What, what's, what's, what is in, involved in that? Yeah, you know, that was special to be a part of for sure. You know, Bubba's been one of my best friends for 15 years. You know, we've known each other for a long time, and uh, he's a brother to me. And, you know, what happened yesterday uh, was disgusting and terrible, and it, it's beyond me how someone can uh, and do do something like that um, for to somebody who's just a different color than they are, uh, and that's just as um, was was terrible. But I feel like you know, with all of us coming together in the industry, not only the drivers uh, but NASCAR crew members, uh, fans in the stands, uh, for all of us to come together and show our support for not only you know for Daryl in this situation, but. Uh, for everyone who's been oppressed not only the last few weeks, but for a long time, um, I, I felt like that was a good moment, um, you know, in light of what happened. And it showed how, you know, you can't, you're not going to scare Daryl. You know, you're not going to scare him. He's he's really strong and he's going to rise above it and, and, and fight this. So uh, we just wanted to show our support. I wanted to show my support to my best friend. And um, he's just been someone I've, I've really, really uh, loved for a long time. And, um, you know, I'm going to support him 100% along the way for many years to come. But um, I, I hope a lot of people uh, will look at that and, and learn from, you know, just everyone coming together and supporting each other. That's that's what it's going to take to uh, to make things better. Ryan, how'd that happen? How, how did the word get out that if, was it that this was sort of what was going to be what you did? Um, so, yeah, we, uh, you know, all the drivers got together um, you know, last night and, and figured out what we were going to do. Um, because we wanted, you know, we wanted to do something, you know, to show our support for sure, especially with what happened. So, uh, yeah, just a, a big group effort um, by all the drivers to uh, to come together like that. I don't know if you, I mean, you you lived it, so you don't need to see the picture. But just as a, as a single frame goes, you know what I mean? Like he's standing next to the king, his own self. You know, here's Richard Petty, 
and, and, and what he represents to the sport and to see the drivers and all the folks from the garage, you know, standing behind him as the anthems played. I just thought it was just a profound visual. I don't know if you've seen it, and if you have, I just wonder what seeing the thing you were a part of, it, how that landed with you. I, I haven't seen it yet. Um, you know, I, I, I'll enjoy, uh, you know, definitely seeing it. But just being there and being a part of it um, was, you know, special sure. for sure. Um, and just supporting your friend. You know, we, we're all competitors on the racetrack, and, and sometimes we – make each other mad racing each other but at the end of the day we're one big traveling family and we're going to support our fellow competitors and no matter what is going on so um but no i just thought you know with with he and richard standing there you know with what richard's meant to the sport for a long long time um and and with what bubba's doing you know in the past few weeks he's been an amazing voice for you know all of nascar um you know and it's just been nice to be there and talk to him about everything that's going on so um, I look forward to seeing that that picture of everyone there. That was just really neat to live with them um, and just, just to be able to be there. And it was a, a remarkable and memorable day, uh, I think, for your sport. And, uh, again, you, you're the guy that by .007 this first to the checkered flag when it's done, man. Congrats. Stay safe and travel well up to Pocono, all right? Thank you, sir. I appreciate you having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.